Hazardous fall in twedges I bought, despite the fact I was the second tallest girl in my year group at school. A CNA bra that was somehow too loose yet too tight. And a lilac dress that added to my age and took away from my innocence. You wouldn't have fancied me then. I remember watching a mob of panting dogs lapping up another level who lip-synced for us that night. I watched a thousand chubby fingers being stuffed in places they shouldn't be. A horde of boys spreading their palms as they walked through the crowd so they could stroke as many girls' thighs as they could. Girls with dresses hitched above their bum cheeks. Girls who traded dignity for popularity. Girls who couldn't yet speak the word no, because at that age, feminism was just like sex to us. We knew about it, but we didn't quite know how to do it. I don't remember what he looked like. I just remember dark skin, big hands, and that he was shorter than me, <laughs> obviously. He clenched his jaws around mine, and suddenly my 13-year-old mouth was invaded. Musty pheromones replaced the taste of Bacardi Breezer. A furry upper lip scratched at my nose. My cheeks were soggy with excited saliva. I mean, he kissed like a pit bull. And pit bulls were taught to stab teeth and not jaws till their victims submitted. As puppies, they learned to be aggressively male, and these lessons turned generations of boys into unwilling brutes, into unhappy alphas. I would spend years ripping these pit bulls off to my lips till I bled. So when you kiss me now, you feel the scars that they left. You taste their blood in my flesh. I kissed him back. And I kissed like a fish. <laughs> With glazed eyes and tense lips, my mouth turned into a cat's bum hole. And I tentatively stuck my tongue in. Uh, his unlucky man. <laughs> because the magazines I read and the films I watched taught me to be dainty, submissive and sweet. And in my 13 year old brain, kissing like a fish was my way of sticking to the rules laid out for girls in just 17. That night in Camden Palace housed so many shameful first kisses. And the saliva we exchanged formed a glue that made us stick to unhealthy notions of what a boy should do, what a girl should do. From the age of 13, the pressure on each gender to play out our predetermined roles made us explode in a burst of frenzied hormones. Made a bunch of children act the way we thought adults did. At that under 18 rave, I watch my friends dance unwillingly to R. Kelly and never have the verbs bump and grind been so adhered to. <laughs> Which is appropriate for R. Kelly given the fact that we were all underage. <laughs> Adolescent hips swayed with wisdom beyond their years. We didn't see a decade of nightclubs unravel before us. A decade where we would have our crotches grabbed at bar rumba and our breasts squeeze at turn mills, yet we would do nothing. That night in Camden Palace drew the blueprints on which I would build my sexual interactions on for years to come. But then you came along. And I wanted to protect you from the legacy left by that first kiss. To hide my scars so when you caress me you won't get calluses. But the fact is, Camden Palace is six bus stops away. And those pit bulls still chase me down the street where we live. At times I've sensed the scent of those dogs in our bed. When we argue, I hear their bark in my head. Suddenly, it was 11. And just like school, our parents were waiting on the pavements, all smiles, asking, did you have fun? Fooled by the family-friendly flyers that we shoved into their faces to convince them to pay £15 each for our ticket. They innocently drove us home whilst we told them that, yeah, it was loads of fun. And as the car turned sharp corners off the Finchley Road, we drew lopsided hearts on the steamy windows and sang to ourselves as if we were R&B stars. Let me lick you up and down. Do you say stop? 
Let me play with your body, I like that you feel hot. Let me do all the things you want to do. Every 